Almost all, all health administration degrees require a course on managerial statistics. Some outsource to business schools and others taught within the program. In this presentation, we argue that because management has changed, then managerial statistic courses should also change. The content of managerial statistic courses is seldom controversial. Seldom are there these courses discussed during accreditation visits. There are widely available textbooks on the managerial statistics that have standardized content. Every book covers the same topic. These courses attract little attention, have not changed in years, and do not stir controversy. Everyone knows what's now in managerial statistic courses. It is generally focused on introduction to distributions, mostly normal and other continuous distributions, hypothesis testing, that means comparisons of paired or independent means, correlations analysis, and beginning of regression analysis. In this presentation, I discuss the relevance of managerial statistic courses to new and emerging health administrations and discuss how the content of these courses need to change to fit the new reality of managers. Management is undergoing revolutionary changes. More information is available inside and outside the organization than ever before. Quantitative tools are used for electronic and rapid investments. The availability of massive databases is referred to as big data. It assumes different forms. Inside organizations, large databases measure every change in the organization's productivity and operations. Electronic health records have led to availability of data on operations within the organizations. All sorts of data are available. It's easy to see who is doing what and achieving which outcomes. The wide availability of massive amount of data has made management with numbers easier and more common. Big data is changing what managers, which managers succeed. As the tools and philosophies of big data spread, they change the long-lasting ideas about the value of experience and the practice of management. The expectation is that companies that get insights through analysis of big data will do better and therefore these managers will succeed more often. There are many examples of how data-driven companies do better. A recent study of 330 North American companies showed widespread attitudes towards data. The more companies characterize themselves as data-driven, the more they were likely to outperform their competitors on financial and operational results. Data-driven companies were 5% more productive and 6% more profitable than less data-driven companies. You see this in healthcare too. You see a system such as the VA that reinvents itself through putting a heavy emphasis on data and over two decades goes from the one of the worst to one of the best healthcare systems. At Mercy Hospital in Iowa City, Iowa, managers who benchmark their clinicians and pay them for performance report 6.6 percent improvements in quality of care. So you see many examples of managers doing better by being by relying on data. Managerial statistic courses are focused on managerial issues only in name. Many of these courses cover the same topic as any standard introductory course in statistics. The claim that these courses fit management is based on examples provided and not on the methods taught within these courses. These courses focus primarily on hypothesis testing. Few managers test hypotheses. These introductory courses focus on continuous distributions. Managers have access to data that are discrete. These courses ex examine repeated samples from stable processes, but managers deal with constantly changing healthcare processes. Managerial statistic courses need to change 
to better fit management, especially modern management, with the increasing focus on data analytics. One major change in management has been the wide availability of data. The Personalized Medicine Institute at Moffitt Cancer Center tracks more than 90,000 patients at 18 different sites around the country. In a, any given year, the Veteran Affairs Informatics and Computing Infrastructure Vinci, collects data on more than 5.5 million patients across 153 medical centers. Kaiser Permanente has data on 9 million patients. Aurora Healthcare System has data on 1.2 million patients. University of California's medical centers have data on more than 11 million patients. FDA has combined medical records of more than 100 million individuals. Growing use of electronic health records has enabled healthcare organizations, especially hospitals and insurance companies, to have access to large data. These data dictate new methods of analysis. The availability of data is based on observations over time. Process data is different from carefully sampled and stratified randomized critical studies. The tools needed to analyze process data are different than the tools used for sampled data. We can no longer use experimental design or survey methods to collect data. Instead, we need to focus on analysis of data that is already available through tools like matched case control studies. What modern managers do is process improvement. A course on managerial statistics needs to expose students to these new roles of managers. It needs to provide instruction in statistical process control instead of hypothesis testing. A new breed of managers is needed who can take advantage of the vast amount of data available to them. This future is built on the first course, managerial statistics. If this course is not set straight, then the foundation is problematic. The trouble with managerial statistics as it now exists is that it does not open a window to this new emerging world of quantitative managers. What we need is a managerial statistic course with revolutionary zeal that prepares students for this new shiny future.